Hey, VV Nation, welcome to this week's Monday video, the top five stocks for the week. See, here at VectorVest, we're all about helping you guys make the best decisions in the stock market and helping you to find the best picks every day. So every Monday, I give you my best picks from both the US market and the Canadian market. And guess what? This week, we're also including the Australian market because someone said in the comments they wanted to see Australian stocks. The beautiful thing about that is VectorVest covers several different countries and the same methodology can be used to find the top stocks for the week in each and every country. All right, let's get right into the software. We're gonna start with the US program. Folks, we're not doing any news at all. This is all the power of the VectorVest system to help you to find the stocks. So what are the things that I look for? Well, I always start off in the stock viewer and I start by sorting the list by CI, Comfort Index. You wanna know more about that? I want you to go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YTFSA to get a free stock analysis where you can see uh, um, something about each, in a, a description about each and every one of our indicators. This is called Comfort Index and it's cast on a scale between zero and two. It shows me the stocks that go up more than they go down. It shows me the stock's resiliency to long or lengthy price declines. The beautiful thing about that is I don't even have to look at a graph to know that overall, I think that the graph should be going higher because it goes up more than it goes down. Number two, I want to make sure that the VST is above one, that the combination of value, safety, and timing let me know that it's a good stock or better stock within the VectorVest software. Number three, I want to make sure that the relative timings are above one. I want to make sure that they are all in an uptrend. Number four, I want to make sure that the earnings growth rates are double digits because earnings is the engine that drives a stock's price higher. I want to make sure that these companies are growing their earnings double digits. You'll notice that two of these don't have earnings growth rate. Why? Because two stocks on the U.S. market this week are ETFs or exchange traded funds. Notice that all of these stocks are by recommendations. Number five, I want to make sure that all of the stocks pretty much are undervalued. Why? Because our mantra is to have you in safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price in a rising market. Those are the components that I look for to pick the top five stocks for you. Now, here's an added bonus. I also want to make sure that I'm keeping you well diversified. If I go over to the industry, computer makers, ETF specialty theme, EC, ETF specialty, uh, specialty theme, auto and truck and petroleum, nicely diversified as well. All right, let's go take a look at these stocks. So now that you know how I look for them, you can use the same methodology no matter what country you're in. Let's graph all of these real quick. Put these on a three month graph. Here we go. I want you to understand what you're looking for before you get into the stock. Bottom left, top right. Remember, that CI automatically tells me that the stock should have more up days than down days. Would I get into this stock right now, even though it's on my top picks? I would actually wait till the stock goes above this price of 243.35 before I pull the trigger. I do like from the standpoint of the three and the eight exponential moving averages, they're still positive. And another way to get out of the stock or oh, two ways to get out of the stock, use whatever moving averages you wanna use to get out of the stock early to capture profits or if you want to be patient and use the power of the VectorVest software, you notice that I have our stop price on here. If as long as the stock's price stays above the stop price, it'll be a buy or a hold. But when it falls below the stop price, it automatically gets to be a sell. Notice that over the last, let's go say three months, this stock has only had to sell once. I like the stock. Let's go to the next stock, NVIDIA. Now this is the ETF for NVIDIA if you don't wanna buy the stock outright. Bottom left, top right, again, I would look to see if we can get above this level of resistance before I pull the trigger. If you're already in it, the 3 d 8 say it's still okay. It's far away from the stock price. What I don't like is the falling volume, but with that, the stock is starting to move sideways. The falling volume doesn't overly concern me. I would like to make sure that the three and the eight are still in place. Let's go to the next one, MOD. Now this stock has had some pulls to the downside, but most recently, nicely moving higher, 
big up bar. Now this is con this is concerning because it's forming a, a, a candlestick pattern known as a bearish harami. Could this be a reversal? We'll keep our eyes on it, but I'd like to see us get above that high before we pull the trigger if we're not in it. Wow. Facebook, look at that stock. Bottom left, top right, ETF as well. Right off, uh, one day off of the three month high. Love to see if we can get break above that before we pull the trigger. Love the three and the eight and the stop price as well let's go to ypf now this stock is moving a tad bit sideways right at a level of resistance it's still got a ci above one the stock's been a sell way back here but ever since been a buy or a hold i'd like to see it get out of this level of a channel nicely above the stop price as well all right that's for the u.s market let's move over to the next market here's the australian market all right looking at the top five here same scenario ICI stocks, good VSTs, double digit earnings growth rate. Let's move over. Are they diversified? Industrials, industrials. Ah, this is a little heavy in the industrial side. We'd also have a healthcare and a telecommunication services, but that's what I could find. All of these stocks, with the exception of one, Smart Pay, is a little bit overvalued. I'm going to call that fairly valued, but my other four stocks are clearly undervalued. Um, and relative values, relative safety is above one. Ah, one stock has got an RT not above one, a little bit trickier to find the stocks in Australia, but I'm still comfortable with the stocks that I picked. Let's go graph the top five here. Wow, look at that. Bottom left, top right. Watch these bars though. A lot of pullback on the big wick at the top of the candle, but bottom left, top right, I would definitely look to see if we can get above. It just hit a new three month high. I'd want to make sure I'm trading higher than that. Now, LAU.AX pulled back a little bit, stayed above the stop price. Nice movement up. I I do like that this is more of a regression trade out of my top fives but it looks like it might have some upside i'd like to buy higher than the high right here to see if it's got some upside nice level bouncing off support could have some good upside going forward uh lyl pulled back a little bit notice that it stayed above the stop price overall big wick at the top i'm not sure i really really like that but i would keep my eyes on that I would like to see this stock break above this swing high of about 1079 before I pull the trigger. Next one. Now, NUE met all of the criteria, but now looking at the graph, not sure I fully like it, but this does look like it's forming a hammer formation at the bottom of this pattern, which could be a reversal. I would keep my eye on that. I'd like to see if we can fade the gap on this stock before we pull the trigger. Uh, MRM, a little bit of a sideways move, still above the stop price. Like to see it get above this level of resistance before I pull the trigger, but it does have some upside, at least to this level of about $1.26 from the three month high. Okay, that's for the Australian stocks. Let's get into the Canadian stocks. Here's my Canadian stocks. Same scenario. Uh, all of these are undervalued, 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 undervalued. Relative values, relative safeties above one. RTs are above one. All of these are buy recommendations. High CI stocks move over double digit earnings growth. Let's go see if they're diversified. Petroleum, electronic, petroleum mining building. Interesting that I was able to diversify this listing of stocks, being that Canada is a uh, a country that looks at a lot of commodities this is a nicely put together list if i do say so myself let's go look at the graphs of these stocks real quick put this on a three-month graph bottom left top right nicely moving up a little bit of a sideways move right now in this i'd like the earnings per share rebounding after a pullback here i'd like to see if we can take out this three month high before i pull the trigger wow hps steady moving up currently undervalued i like the move coming off the stop the earnings per share looks good the rebound on rt i do like it i'd like to see it take out the level of this most recent swing high of about 45 70 before i pull the trigger on that stock now uh s 
HLE, a little bit more volatile in the move, but still bottom left, top right, undervalued. I don't like these wicks at the top, but if we can take out this level of resistance, sitting at the value of about 591, I'd look to enter there. Let's go to the next one. A little bit of a sideways move. Lithium is on the rise again, whether it's in the US or Canada. I do want you to keep your eyes on lithium stocks. If I'm looking at pulling the trigger on here, I'd look at uh, a little higher than 57.38. I don't like the falling earnings per share, but lithium is starting to show and rear its head to the upside. Keep your eyes on that. Stella Jones, bottom left, top right, slow, steady mover. Would like to see us take out that level of about 62.01 before I pull the trigger. We're not far from that. Nicely undervalued. Folks, so with that being said, three countries now giving you my top five stocks for each one of those three countries. Let me know in the chat how you're doing with these picks. Do you like them? I know you want to keep seeing them, but are they helping you to make money? Let me know in the chat. If you're not or if you're not part of the channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You'll get these every week. Hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted to when this video comes out. Folks, this video is over. And until next week, see ya. Hey, VV Nation. Do you want to increase your profits and generate income? Well, you can for 99 cents. We'll give you access to the VectorVest system for 30 days. And guess what? It's a money back guarantee. If you don't like it, we'll give you back your 99 cents. But folks, you're going to have access to the best software out there, the best guidance at any price. All you have to do is go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YT. Folks, it's a no brainer. Go there right now and take advantage of your 30 day trial for 99 cents.